All right, we're gonna do one more here from BGT. I have to bring Chris back for the last one. We found this like insanely unique, hard to find spot to film this re review of Kumba. Jack, you gotta come here and see this, man. This is know. wild. Look at those two corkscrews right there. Is that even a corkscrew? I don't even know what they're called. I think it is. Anyway, we're riding, we're riding Kumba here, the iconic, was seriously a top tier Hall of Fame B&M that opened in 1993, 30 years ago. This is really one of the first legit unique B&Ms. Oh yeah, it's uh, probably the first like really, really great B&M I yeah. would say Abs too. Absolutely, like honestly, just steel coasters in general. This like paved the way for like so many different rides to come. And some stats, it's 134 feet tall, 60 miles per hour, seven inversions, just like Monster. Actually very similar stats to Monster. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Um, I mean, it's it's great. There's rumors. There's been rumors the last few years that it might be closing. Chris does not want that to happen. No. I do not want. A lot of people do not want that to happen. But 30 years old for a steel coaster. It's, I get it. It's getting up there. And for whatever reason, this ride just never has a line. Oh yeah. It's I, I think it's just because it's in the very back of the park. Very park, back. But it should have uh, a longer line than it does. For it's sure. really good. So cool. It's beautiful. Like great paint. You got the the chain lift. I mean the lift hill. That goes through a loop. Awesome. Super unique still. It's Goomba. Yeah. Legendary roller coaster. Let's go right. Let's go right. So pretty! Look at all these beautiful colors, these trees. Chris, Kumba. Yeah. What do we think? You're the you're the hometown vet here. Yeah. Um, you've been you've been riding this since you were a little kid, which is like three years ago, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm big twenty year old now. <laughs> I still love it. Like it, it was my favorite ride here before Gwazi opened, and it, it's just so fun, super intense. Zero G roll is insane. The whole first half of Sons of Positives. The ending is super cool. Um, love me some tunnels. It's an awesome classic. Classic, yeah, it's oh, yeah. crazy. 1993 ride is a classic now, but it totally, totally is. That I mean, it is getting a little, it's rattly still. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it was a little extra rattly. Today. Today. I'm hoping that but we just got a bad train. For but. 30, a 30 year old ride, you, you, you expect that. You can't really knock that right. suit too much. Um, it's a great night ride. Oh, yeah. It's way better at night. I'm gonna, you know, judge it by day and night. Um, honestly, I think the second half is better than the first half. Going through like all the trenches and going through the tunnels, those two like corkscrews, heartline rolls, whatever. I'm I'm so bad with elements. It's so bad. The loop is great. Great views at the drop. Oh, it's a solid, solid ride. Oh, I'm gonna piss some people off with this one. So, honestly, Kuma and Montu are just they're one's a sit down, one's an invert, but the stats are almost the same. Both have seven inversions. They're so close for me. Yeah. I never know. Which one I like better, and I'm gonna go 8.09, 0.01 over Montu. I, I, I love Kumba. I absolutely love Kumba. Yeah, uh, they're they're both neck and neck for me. So I, I go 8.2, 8.3 range for Kumba. Oh, we got a range, oh. huh? <laughs> the first ranger in the channel. I respect it. All right, all right. Uh, you, uh, no, 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 it's good. That's good. I like it. It's good. It's unique. That's Kumba, that's Busch Gardens Tampa. The rare park lately where I got to do every credit. Thank God. As I was it's Chris, Chris is good luck. Yeah, yeah. Chris, you have something to plug. Yes, so you heard me mention it in Iron Gwazi. Twisted Travelers Podcast. It's me and Jack who is in his late compounds. Videos. That's right. Uh, we used to do it for a pretty long time and it was, in my opinion, really good. He really liked it. Fanta True story. The very first time I reached out to any enthusiasts was to Jack and be like, hey, I've been following you on Twitter for a few years. I see you have a podcast. If you ever need a guest, I'd love to come on. Yes. And this, those two fools somehow allowed me to go on there. And the rest is history. I've met so yeah. many people because of that one 
invite. So that's why yeah. I love this guy. Well, the show well, is back. And for it's the coming summer. back, baby. Yeah, so it's back for the summer. Bryant will be on there uh, as a guest. So definitely check it out. Absolutely. Follow uh, on Instagram. We'll be asking for lots of guest questions and everything. Twisted Travelers Podcast. Subscribe, download, wherever you do. Five star review, all that fun stuff. Coming back. It's actually, by the time this airs, it'll be already back. Yeah, right? first episode. Will Love be that. Already. Love Chris. Love BGT. Great, great day. Great week of reviews. Thank you, man. You're, You're the best. Welcome. Hopefully, like, you'll be on again. Sub. Say that again. Like, comment, and sub. Listen he to deserves him. all the love. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, guys. Huge, huge shout out to Carl and Chris for joining me on those reviews. Absolutely perfect day here at Bush Gardens Tampa. Well, a little busy, a little busy for a Sunday, but the fact that every single roller coaster is open and I actually, I did not lie, clean the park out for reviews. So I guess it's a little sad that that's it for BGT for the year, but Iron Gwazi, number one, number one forever. It, <laughs> it's gonna take a lot to be that one. That could be a Roman Reigns type reign at the top for Iron Gwazi, wrestling reference. Anyway, love Bush Gardens Tampa. Oh, these parks in Florida, just incredible, incredible. So that is it for BGT. Love you all. See you tomorrow.